Hey guys, it's Mr. Jeets. Happy Wednesday, happy April 22nd. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's me here with your Addison Family Newsletter. It comes out every week on Wednesdays. Um, so just going to share a couple updates with you. Hope you guys had a great spring break. As I know, you, I'm sure you didn't really get to travel too far or do some of the plans that you originally had planned. But luckily, we live in the beautiful state of Wisconsin. We got some pretty neat scenery and things to do right around here in our own backyard. So hopefully you had a chance to enjoy the nice weather we had last week. Um, kind of hoping the warmer weather comes back. Today was a, a bit chilly. Um, as far as updates, just uh, as you know, last week, our governor, Tony Evers, has closed schools for the remainder of the school year. Uh, so that means we will not be returning to Addison before uh, the close of the 2019-2020 school year, unfortunately. Sad, sad to hear that news. Um, I feel like some of us probably, I kind of thought it was going to be coming, but still when that news was reported, it was a bit of a shock and really difficult to kind of wrap my head around that. So um, we are going to continue doing what we've been doing for the last four weeks. Uh, we're going to continue doing our responsibilities and possibilities, uh, keep keep educating and doing the best we can with what we're doing. Uh, I just said recently, I, I it's super fortunate that we are in the times that we are as far as technology, because had this been 10, 15 years ago, I don't think we would have had the capabilities to, to continue the learning uh, in the way that we have been these last few weeks. So big shout out and kudos to not only the staff and students, but moms and dads and families who've been helping out and making this work. Thank you. Um, I think it's kind of neat. I think the kids are often teaching us a lot of what to do with some of this technology. So again, thank you for all the efforts and working together. Uh, with schools being closed, luckily on March 18th, when we did our, our pickup, we emptied out students' desk and sent home all belongings on that day. So we should not have to do another uh, pickup before the end of the school year. Um, we do have something kind of excited I want to share with you. Uh, we are looking to do an Addison parade, Addison Owl Parade, I think we're going to call it. Still working out the details, uh, but it's going to look something like it's going to happen right at Addison Elementary. Uh, and we're going to have families come drive through Addison, our parking lot. We're going to get it set up. Again, we're still working on the details. Uh, we have a tentative date set as May 7th, which is a Thursday. It is the same night that our uh, art, science, and learning fair was supposed to happen, uh, but that's not going to be happening. But we're going to use that day to celebrate this way uh, and get to see you guys. The idea will you would be that you would come drive through the parking lot. Uh, staff will be lined throughout the upper and lower parking lot. You guys will be able to drive through, smile, wave, and say hi. Um, unfortunately, I think that's about all we'll be able to do. The time, tentative time, again, is uh, set for 4 to 6 p.m., but again, we'll have more details coming out next week as we get closer to that date. Uh, but really anxious and excited to see all your faces, be able to have that interaction that's been been missing. So really looking forward to that. Uh, June 10th is our last day of school. That is not changing. Our original last day of school is June 10th. It is going to stay June 10th. Um, that is a half day of school. And on that day, we are actually going to be doing Chromebook drop-offs. We will need all Chromebooks returned to school on that day. Again, it's a ways away, so we'll work out details between now and then. But Chromebooks will need to be turned in, and we'll hand out yearbooks at that time. We'll have registration paperwork for next school year to hand out to families. Um, and currently, it's looking like it'll probably be some sort of drive-through, but we will see. There's a lot of time between now and then, and we'll let you know what's going to happen. Uh, something I'm really excited about and I want to share with you, I asked the teachers to use a program that some of students may be familiar with called Flipgrid. Uh, it's kind of a nice little recording tool, but I asked staff to go on there and do some read-alouds. So we have a interactive or live read-aloud video library for you. You'll be able to click on the link or image in the newsletter here and you can you'll find different staff members reading different books uh, to students. So <clears throat> I think last time I checked, there were about 14 titles in there and videos. So please check that out and enjoy. I'm kind of excited for that. Maybe watch one a night as you put your kids to bed or something like that. 
Um, thank you, Mrs. Steedman. She put together an awesome video of a couple students doing a performance of the Star Spangled Banner. So thank you, Grace and Sutton. And please enjoy that video. You'll have to click on the link and it'll take you to um, a wee video uh, segment that you can check out. Just a reminder, Teresa's Closet, I mentioned that before spring break. Please take a look there. If you know of any families in need, if you want to help, or if, if you need some support or anything like that, uh, please check it out. We do have resources. We have a wonderful community that wants to support those um, who can use it right now. There's also some information from Network Photography. Uh, Network does our, our student candid or student pictures every year. It's not too late if you're like me and you forgot to order your child's uh, pictures from earlier in the year. They still have them. You can get online and you can go ahead and get those ordered. I think that's it for the newsletter. Um, oh, uh, we do have our artist of the week that will get put in there yet. I just got to get that added and I don't know who they are yet, but check it out down below. It will be in the newsletter. That's it. I look forward to checking in with you guys again next week. Again, parents, if you're having any issues with anything, please reach out. I've been checking in with staff. Sounds like they've made contact with students and all families. Um, please know that we are expressing a lot of grace and we understand if, if there's family situations and you're not able to keep up with some stuff, we, we do understand that and we're flexible. We want to work with you. We just want to make sure we're doing our part to make everything accessible uh, so that our students can get to what they need to. That's all I have for this week. Take care. Have a great weekend. Um, keep your fingers crossed for some warmer weather. And I look forward to checking in again next week. Thank you.